What's up, hard workers? It's your boy Frankie Hard Worker, and I'm super duper back with another one, so let's go get it. Yeah, man, Sue Surf, man. Shout out to Sue Surf, man. But Sue Surf, um, rapper, battle rapper, coming out of New Jersey, not too far from where I'm from, North New Jersey to be exact, Exus County. Shout out to us. But uh, today, around 1:30, man, he was arrested on RICO charges, man. The U.S. Marshals came and got him from down, uh, from pretty much from Jersey City. So let me speak more details. And right now, though. He's in Exus County, and Exus County right now, that's, they call that the monster. I hated that shit when I was down there. I don't even like talking about it, but anyway, let's go further. So, Sue Surf, 32 years old, was reportedly brought into custody at home in New Jersey City, where he was located with a woman. Sources said that the Rama tried to go out the back of the house, which was surrounded by law enforcement upon seeing federal authorities. He retreated back inside and barricaded himself at the location. Excuse me. Sue and the woman refused to come outside for about an hour until crisis negotiators were called. The negotiators spoke with Sue, who peacefully surrendered. He is scheduled to see a judge in a federal court hometown of uh, uh, North New Jersey Friday. Yeah, man. That's crazy, man. You know what else is crazy? This situation been going on for about a good two weeks, right? This been going on for about a good two weeks. About two weeks ago... It was a rumor that came out of nowhere that pretty much said that he was going, that the feds was coming to get him off a RICO charge. How that shit came out, I don't know. This internet is a, is a piece of work. But anyway, his manager, Kwa, came out because, you know, Kwa was feeling some type of way. And um, he can't, because he was just talking to Lisa Evers the other day. She's a news reporter. But his manager came out pretty much and said, um, yeah, y'all can officially go ahead and put that free in front of his name. Yeah, that was early today, around 4.20, so he got bagged around 1.30. But this is the part that kind of tripped me up a little bit, right? Because October 6th, uh, he, he, uh, my, my man, uh, what's his name? Sue Surf, he tweeted something out. He tweeted out, I probably never, st never step on a stage again. God has a way of humbling us, right? So being that, so he pretty much knew that this shit was about to happen. He already got insight on it. He already know what it's about and everything. That's why I understand why he tried to run. I mean, I mean that's probably like a force. I mean, that's probably like a, a reflex. You know, I'm going to try to get up out of here and run and then go back in the house and get the negotiator. That was kind of, you know, that's kind of whatever. But for the most part, sometimes when you're in a situation like that, man, you know what I mean? It, it, it's like, damn, they kind of caught me off guard because think about it. He spoke about this two weeks ago. And... They was basically saying that they couldn't find him because his manager came out the other day and pretty much um, probably like well, October 3rd. Matter of fact, right before, uh, right before they, uh, right before, uh, what's my man's name? Sue Surf decided to put out that tweet. I almost feel like that damn tweet probably got him caught because they couldn't find him for like two weeks. He wasn't around like that or nothing like that. And he wasn't posted. He posted last night, though. That's the funny part. That's the crazy part. He posted last night, like about 20-some hours ago, damn near a day ago. So it's like that happened last night, and then the very next day they found him. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. You know what I mean? Sue Surf, like I said, I, I, I don't know him, but I definitely hear a lot about him. You know what I mean? Like I said, he's right not too far from where I'm from. You know what I mean? I'm from Irvington, from Newark. We right there. So you know what I mean? I, I definitely heard things about him. He's definitely solidified. He's definitely solidified. I, I would have to say that he's not. He's not no soft. He's not a soft dude at all. So, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this, and I'm gonna keep y'all updated because they say he might go to court tomorrow. And who knows? I might take a trip down there and just see what's going on around there, or talk to a couple people that I know and see what's going on. So it's your boy Frankie Hardwork. I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what it is, and then go follow me on IG at Frankie Hardwork One. I'm gonna need y'all to be easy one.